All right, in this video, I just want to give you a quick mental thought on how to effectively wrap your hand over the top of the ball, okay? And I'm going to also talk about a couple of things that will prevent you from being able to do this, okay? So let me step back here. All right, so what I want you to know is when you, if you're going to wrap over the top of the ball, your attack needs to be low to high, okay? Unless your like, head is above the net, then you can wrap over the top. That's easy to wrap over the top of the ball because you're just hitting the ball down everywhere. But if you're undersized, you're not way above the net, or even if you're under the net, learning how to wrap over the top of the ball is what's going to give you that maximum overspin. Okay. So in order to hit with maximum overspin, yeah, and wrap over the top of the ball, let's say this Wilson is the equator. Okay. What you want to do is the middle of your hand needs to hit the equator of the ball. Okay. And then goes like this over the top. Okay, so it goes here and like this. Okay, so you can see I need to come here this way to wrap over the top of the ball. I need to attack the ball from low to high to be able to wrap over the top of the ball effectively. Okay, if I drive my elbow past the ball, I'm always going to hit below the equator. And whenever I hit below the equator, I have really no chance of hitting with a lot of overspin and I have no chance of wrapping my hand over the top of the ball. I can still flick my wrist and try to create overspin, but it's not the same. You're not going to have that maximum overspin that you will if you hit the equator and then you drive your hand over the top of the ball. Okay? And I can tell you for sure, if you can master this, yeah? So hit the ball like this, yeah? Okay? If you can master this, you'll learn how to hit with maximum overspin. And if you're an undersized player, or you're not someone who's way above the net, or anyone actually, it'll when you hit with maximum overspin, hitting from off the net becomes very easy. Yeah, very easy. Like 10 foot line, 15 foot line, you can clear the net by a foot and a half with max overspin and it's way in the court. Okay? So it's really important to learn how to hit and wrap your hit with max overspin and wrap your hand over the top of the ball. Okay. Now, one thing I'm going to tell you that really prevents this is whenever you drive your elbow past the ball, right? So let's say this happens most for people that do high bone arrow swing. They jump up like this and then they have to do this and you drive your elbow and then they hit. Okay. So they always hit below the equator. Whenever your elbow is past the ball, you're going to hit below the equator. And you can still create some overspin by flicking at it, but it's not going to be maximum overspin. Not to mention when you do this, you're never going to hit at maximum extension. When you hit, when you hit like this, you're going to start to hit a maximum extension. You're going to hit the ball really high. So you, what you're going to notice is you don't have to jump high to hit really good shots. Okay? So try this, again, real quick. Middle of the hand, you, from low to high, hits the, hits the equator of the ball and then goes over. Right? So practice this. Right? And you can do this on the sides of the ball too. Right? So you want to hit inside out. You want to hit cross body. It's the same thing. Okay? You just got to make sure your elbow doesn't get past the ball. Yeah? It doesn't get past the ball. If your elbow gets past the ball, you're never going to be able to hit with maximum overspin. So no matter what you do, when you hit, you want to focus on fingers going up. Yeah? Your fingers, when you hit, no matter how you swing, you're, from here, your fingers got to go up. You can't drive your elbow excessively like this. Otherwise, you'll never hit with max overspin. Your fingers got to go up, hit the equator, and then drive over the top. Like this. Okay? And you're going to start hitting higher with more overspin. And when you start doing that, I can guarantee you your hitting will get better, your shots will get better, everything will get better. Okay? So give it a try. If you have any questions, put them in the comments.